trainees, these camps in the middle of nowhere were home for the next several months. Soldiers did what they could to make the best of the situation. The men really took pride in their specific areas. And there's lots of instances where unit symbols were spelled out in rocks um, with painstaking detail to find just the right color to get the unit symbol just right. And uh, lots of uh, stories of men sweeping their company area. Here they were out in the middle of the desert, but there's brooms out sweeping the company streets and the Reveille areas. And you can see a lot of pride in those units and, and in the unit areas. The decision to have the rock alignments and the divisional emblems and things like this, this may be more a product of the individual troops uh, showing pride or making the landscape when they were out here for their period of training. This one is known as the Iron Mountain Divisional Camp or Camp Iron Mountain. It's typical of the other camps, but it is distinguished by the fact that it has uh, two religious altars, uh, one on the eastern side of the camp and one on the western side of the camp. I mean, we have to remember that Patton's number one goal was to prepare troops for the rigors of desert warfare. And in these situations, I'm sure spirituality would have been a very important component of the training.